Either you're somebody or you ain't nobody. Welcome back friends today, I present to you a list of the most watched Netflix movies in the United States. At number 1, American Gangster 2007. The man I worked for had one of the biggest companies in New York City. He didn't own his own company. White man owned it, so they owned him. This is a crime thriller film set in the late 1960s and early 1970s. It tells the story of Frank Lucas, a former driver and right-hand man to Harlem mob boss Bumpy Joseon, who becomes the most powerful dealer in New York by smuggling an illegal substance from Thailand and selling it under the brand name Blue Magic. Meanwhile, Newark detective Richie Roberts leads a task force to bring down major suppliers and eventually sets his sights on Lucas. With the help of an informant, Roberts manages to arrest Lucas, raid his processing facility, and also bring down a group of corrupt officials. At number 2, The Glass Castle, 2017. Rich city folk live in fancy apartments. But their air is so polluted they can't even see the stars. This is an American drama that follows the story of Jeanette Walls as she struggles with unconventional upbringing in a family that constantly moved and struggled with poverty and alcoholism. Walls' parents, Rose and Rex, were strange and often neglectful, leading to dangerous situations and personal struggles for their children. Despite the challenges, Walls persevered and pursued her dreams of becoming a writer, eventually reconciling with her father before his death. At number 3, The Croods 2020. Oh, another glorious morning. Dad always says the pack stays together. That's my girl. This is an animated movie about a prehistoric family surviving several natural disasters. The patriarch Grug insists that his family stays in the cave safely, but his daughter Eat meets a modern human named Guy who warns them of an impending apocalypse. The family escapes from the cave and encounters various dangers on their journey to safety. Grug struggles with accepting change and innovation but later learns to embrace it. The movie highlights the importance of adaptation and the value of new ideas. At number 4, Pitch Perfect 2012. You call yourself Fat Amy? Yes, yeah, so it's just like you don't do it behind my back. This is a musical comedy film about a college freshman, Bika, who reluctantly joins an all-female a cappella group, the Barden Bellas. Despite internal conflicts and setbacks, the group competes against their male rivals, the Barden Troublemakers, in the ICCA finals and ultimately wins. Along the way, Becca finds love and discovers her passion for singing. The film features a mix of popular songs and original music and explores themes of friendship, teamwork, and finding one's voice. At number 5, The Wedding Date 2005. Your sister's worried you won't bring a date to her wedding. She doesn't want the guests feeling bad for you on her day. In this romantic drama, Cat Ellis hires an escort named Nick Mercer to accompany her to her sister's wedding and also pretend to be her boyfriend. Intending to make her ex-fiancé jealous, Cat finds herself falling for Nick as he begins to genuinely care for her. However, when Cat discovers that her sister had an affair with her ex, she falls betrayed and pushes Nick away. In the end, Cat and Nick eventually reunite and start a genuine relationship, while Kat forgives her sister and moves forward with a renewed sense of happiness. Thanks for watching and consider subscribing.